Hey guys, what's going on? Matthew or MP Brick Studios here, back with another Lego Ninjago video here on the channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at set number 71810, Young Dragon Ryu. This set comes with three minifigures, 132 pieces, and retails for $17 in the US. The set came out new for March 1st, but with that, let's get on to the video. So starting with the Young Dragon Ryu build, starting at the head, I think it has a great look to it. It looks pretty much like Baby Ryu, but larger. The only criticism really I have with this whole build is no bottom draw. I may try and make a custom uh, bottom draw for this guy, but for now, I'm just gonna have to leave him like this and we'll see later. Um, but other than that, I think his head does look great because some, some angles you can see that there's just nothing, but other than that, it looks amazing. Um, then coming to his legs, he has this kind of more baby blue, which I like the inclusion of, and then darker color on his uh, on his stomach there. All four of the stickers in this set are identical, so they just, it, it is kind of annoying, but it does do great detail, and it's pretty much exactly what's on his head. So I, I like that it all uh, works together. And then kind of standard uh, motion from his legs. The front ones are right below the wings, so not great on that because you can't actually put it back much. So for a flying pose, even if you have the wings up, you can't really put them up that much. I guess I guess that's good. Yeah, there you go. But not too much. I wish it was a little more, but overall, I think these legs do well, especially the posability is very good, and I like them a lot. Moving on to the tail here, we have just a mixel joint there with some spikes on it and more of that kind of baby blue color. And on the back, he has a little more dark blue with some golden blades on the back. So looking to his back, we have this kind of armor piece that was used on the mechs from January, and that looks great here. Um, moving forward, there's a little bit of a gap, which I honestly think is fine because all of the colors used there are used on the exterior so it doesn't really affect anything and then there's the saddle right there looks pretty good you can place one minifigure on there and then you can also place Sora behind Aaron right there so they look good on it but we'll look at them a little more later and then the last thing really is looking at his wings these are the same wings that came in the dragon power things from January and I think they're great for this. They're uh, just little wings and you can even just pop them off and pose them a little different. I, I think this is great. You know, a little attack mode for them. More, more fearsome Ryu right here. So I think, I think this looks great. How you can pose them in different ways and just... This dragon is amazing. I love this set, especially for $17, and what you get for it is great. So, I think that's all I really have to say, but with that, we can get on to the minifigures. Here are the first two minifigures in the set. We have Eren and we have Sora. So, starting with Eren, it is just the basic Eren suit, which is nice to get a lot cheaper, but honestly, I think we should have gotten something different. Would have been great to get a new suit for him and Sora as well. But overall, I just want to say I do like this figure. Great to get it in a in a super cheap set. I, th I believe the cheapest way you could get him was like $50, like $48 in the Sora's Mech set. So it is, it is good to get both of these minifigures for so cheap. But honestly, it's just... It's just underwhelming getting a new character that doesn't have a new suit for every wave. But then the new weapons for this wave are these little hook pieces that they're supposed to use to climb with. And I think they look great. They definitely fit the kind of, um, you know, the previous weapons that they've used with this dragon head on the front. It's maybe a little thinner than the actual piece. So I think that's a little good variation and the um the crossing of the i don't even know what to call that the the crossing there that m makes it like more grippable so 
Uh, overall, I think Aaron is a good minifigure, probably a great minifigure, but I wish we got something new. And then moving on to Sora, we actually do get something new. We get her hair piece, which honestly, I think whew, I would rather have this than a new suit for her. Sorry, but I would. So this is definitely not something I'm disappointed with. I, I wish we did get a new suit, but this hair, this hair is so much better. I would rather have this over a new suit any day of the week. And see this? This looks great with just her hair on. And then there's those uh, build a minifigure heads that were at uh, Lego stores. That, that would look great with this hair as well. So honestly, I think, I think Sora is fine not to have one. But honestly, if Aaron had one, then she should probably have one. But I think that's really all I have to say about these. But I really do like Sora's hairpiece, and I wish we got a new suit for both of them. But with that, we can get on to the last minifigure. So here's the last minifigure included in this set. We have a Wolf Mask Warrior. And I've talked about these before, and I think they are great. First off, looking at this amazing mask piece, we have the dual molding there and it looks amazing these look really menacing and really good i love how they look and then the head beneath he has kind of the blue power up there and just a silver mask on and then behind there he has not powered up eyes but personally i prefer the powered up ones because it's like you know in the show uh we already know they're going to be using something called shatter spin and it this is more menacing and more destructive to the ninja's cause. Uh, then he has this, I don't even know what to call it, it this sword here, this kind of curvy sword um, that was in, I believe, an adventurer's line back in the day, but it's recolored in silver, flat silver. Looks kind of gray, but I yeah, it's more silver than gray. But overall, I'm, I'm not going to talk too much about his torso and legs, but... This guy looks amazing. All of them do. They look so good. These are some of the best uh, villain warriors that we have. And just look at all that detail. That looks amazing. So I think with that, we can get on to my final thoughts. So what are my overall thoughts on this set? Personally, I think this set is a great deal for $17. Any kid will like it. A collector would love to have it for those minifigures, the hair piece. It's just a great set to get for $17. Honestly, I think it's a no-brainer getting this set. It's a cheap way to get some of the new characters and a villain and another new character that is the build. So I want to thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.